Good morning everyone. Just made myself my breakfast, this delicious smoothie. It is so hot today. I've just put like powder on my face and I'm already like sweating it off. In the UK we don't get weather like this very often. So when we get like 25 to 30 degree heat, we freak the hell out. Everyone is like, oh my God, it's so hot. Um, I think right now the temperature, you know, I'm your local weather lady for today. So the temperature is right now 23 degrees um, and it just, it feels, it feels amazing. Like we've had such bad weather recently, so it's so nice to have it like this. But back to the point, so this is my breakfast. It's loosely based on a recipe for a pineapple and mango coconut kick smoothie. I think that's the title. Pineapple, no, pineapple and coconut kick smoothie. So I swapped the pineapple for mango because I don't have any pineapple. And I also added some protein powder in. I used the My Vegan Protein Powder. Got a discount code, I'll leave that down below for you. And yeah, it's so delicious and just what I need on a day like this. These kinds of smoothies remind me of being on holiday. They're just perfect. And I'm gonna focus today on high protein meals because that's a request that I get a lot. How do you eat? protein as a vegan how do you get enough protein as a vegan could you share some more high protein meals because i know that's a lot of people's concern and so i'm going to show you three meals and snacks and stuff today that are full of protein and are plant-based so let's enjoy this smoothie in the sunshine what a lovely start to the day also the recipe that i showed you on screen was for two so this is just for me and i'm sharing it with alex All done. Yum. It is lunchtime and it's a beautiful sunny day like I mentioned this morning. So I'm gonna make myself a big salad. And I feel like I'm wanting to dispel some myths here by having a smoothie for breakfast and a salad for lunch, typically seen as, you know, very healthy, lower calorie, maybe diet foods that can be packed full of nourishment, calories, protein, you know, fat, all the things that are really good for you. And you can eat delicious plant-based vegan foods while also getting, you know, loads of protein, loads of things that you need and not feel hungry. And I think salads are also one of those things that get a bad rep for being not very filling. And this is a salad that I featured in a video years ago. Um, and I was just kind of thinking like, what high protein recipes do I have on my website? And I remember this one and I was like, oh my goodness, I remember making that video and people being surprised at how many calories were in this salad. I'll leave a link above to the original video. But the reason it has so many so much protein and so many calories is because of beans. Legumes are so good for you and they're packed full of nutrients. So they're just one of those things that are just integral to a plant-based diet. And if you're not already eating legumes, even if you're not vegan and you're just trying to eat more plant foods, legumes are so good for you. Yes, if you're not used to eating them, they might make you a bit gassy, but make sure you rinse them first. That's the key and your body will get used to them. Just don't overdo it. But I've got some green lentils here and some cannellini beans. The recipe does call for butter beans, but I don't have those. So any beans work. And that is what is gonna give you all the really, really good protein, as well as the walnuts. So again, you can use any nuts, but I just really like the combination of walnuts with the lentils and the beans. And then we have a really delicious tahini dressing. And that's gonna be my lunch for today. The only difference is I don't have rocket. So I've got lettuce from the garden. Our lettuce is not having a good time. Um, it's bolted as you could see, and it's just gone mad. So we need to dig it up and get some plugs, I think. But I'm trying to make use of what is left over because it has gone a bit crazy, though it probably won't taste as good as it did taste a few weeks ago. I'm gonna make this salad. It shouldn't take me very long and then I can enjoy it in the sunshine and feel very refreshed. <laughs> Ignore the background, we've got dust all over the kitchen counters and stuff everywhere because we're renovating our kitchen right now and lots of our stuff is in our utility room. I'm looking at dust sheets and I've just kind of given up. I've done the washing up, but I'm not gonna put it away because honestly there's nowhere to put it away. 
So <laughs> just, just wait, you just wait in a few weeks, probably not in a few weeks, in a couple months, this kitchen background will be so stunning and I'll be living my food blogger dreams. I'm gonna show you how I make this salad. So I'm gonna throw in the lettuce first. The cool thing about this recipe too is it requires no knives or chopping boards, everything you can just throw in. So it's a very easy, 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 easy meal. I'm gonna to mix together the dressing in a little bowl. First is two tablespoons of tahini. This is the liquid gold tahini by my friend Miles. If you haven't already tried this tahini, it does what it says on the tin, it is liquid gold. No more days of having to ferociously try and mix together the tahini because it's gone all dry. There are some really bad tahinis out there. <laughs> this is the best. I'm really enjoying lemons today, apparently. I just love lemons on everything, especially in the summer. Lemons are just so good for you. So I'm just gonna squeeze the juice of half a lemon. And this little trick here, lots of people would ask me why I'm squeezing it through my fingers. It's to catch the pips and I'm lazy. I do have a lemon squeezer, but that means I would then have to wash up that, you know, device, device. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I'd have to wash it up. So I just do it in my hands and it's just easier. So I caught one pip and then I can just rinse my hands. Next ingredient is one to two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna go for two because I love soy sauce so much. I have it every single day, I swear. And then around one teaspoon of sriracha. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Leave this out if you don't like spicy food. And finally, a tablespoon of maple syrup or any syrup. Um, I think in the original recipe I used date syrup, so anything that's gonna add some sweetness will work. And then give that a good old mix, which is gonna be so easy because the tahini is so liquidy already, which is wonderful. And of course, with any recipe like this with dressings, adjust it according to your taste preferences and the consistency. So I think that when I made this recipe, I was using a crap tahini. So I'm gonna add some more because this is quite runny um, because this tahini I'm using is already quite runny. So I'm just gonna eyeball it, add it in to make it a thicker consistency. And then um, I will just drizzle over the amount that I would like. And then I will put the rest of it in a little container in the fridge so I can use this dressing for the next couple of days. So that's looking a little bit better. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more. And there you have it, it's come together to make the perfect, perfect consistency. Give it a taste. I think it needs a dash more maple syrup. I'm adding in some more lemon. I always do this, recipes are just a guide. I like to adjust it to exactly exactly what I want. And I'm just really craving the taste of lemon today because it's a hot day. Gonna add about half a cup of beans. I would never really measure this usually, but I'm doing this for your, your purposes. So chuck those on there. This would be perfect to make for two of you so that you could use a tin of beans and share it between the two of you. And I just used a um, little packet of already cooked lentils because um, I had them in the cupboard. I'm just gonna take about half and if I was making it for two people, we could share. And then I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm just gonna throw those, a few of those on top. I'm gonna tear them as well. I'm, I'm determined not to use a chopping board today. And then about half a cup of walnuts as well. I'm just gonna crumble them in my hand and add them to the top. I've come around here so I can show you the salad up close. This is what it looks like before adding the dressing. Only thing it's missing is the capers. I'm going to add some seasoning, not salt, because I've already got the soy sauce. I know that that's already quite salty, but I'm just gonna put some pepper on top of here. And then of course, this is the best bit, drizzling on the dressing, which, oh my goodness, look at it. So good. I'm back outside because it's just too beautiful today to not be outside all day. Well, I've got to work, but maybe I'll bring my laptop outside. Here it is, looking and smelling amazing. I'm gonna have a taste now. Oh my goodness, this sauce. I feel like I should make this more. I've like forgotten about how good this is. Mm. Oh my gosh, 
The sun-dried tomatoes are essential, do not skip those. But I'm gonna enjoy this in the sunshine and I'll probably have a snack afterwards, so I'll show you that. Hmm. Reggie, come here. Oh, good boy. Good boy. You're a good boy. I know that this is a what I eat in a day, not a what I drink in a day. Woo! But whenever it's hot weather like this, I always make myself an iced mocha and use some chocolate milk. And Sproud recently sent me their chocolate drink powered by peas. And they've got barista milk and I think maybe just a normal plant-based alternative. I'm not sure what the other one is. I know there's a... There's a grey one, this is the barista, yeah the barista, and then there's a blue one which I think is just normal, it's not a barista edition. And I'll mix ice, a shot of decaf coffee and then fill it up with chocolate milk. Um, sometimes I do like half and half water and milk because I'm not the sort of person who loves super super sweet coffee. Uh, so I'm going to taste test this chocolate milk first to see how sweet it is and then I'll see how much I'm gonna to add to my coffee. I've got my glass. I'm gonna pop in one, two, three. I'm just gonna use loads of ice. I spilt my coffee everywhere and it overflowed in the coffee machine. So it's not got that nice frothy top to it, but whatever. Oh yes, I need to taste test this first. Let's give it a go. I have tried the Alpro and the Oatly and they're both delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah, that tastes like proper, like when you're a kid, chocolate milk. I think I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it. And there you have a delicious summer drink. I am horrendous at using tripods and they're always crooked and it's always the worst position. Let's enjoy this. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. I wish it was this hot all the time so I could enjoy drinks like this all the time. If you were feeling extra, you could even put like vegan whipped cream on it, but I love the taste of the coffee with the, with the chocolate milk, yum. I just put it in the freezer and it reminded me, I did also share a recipe on my Instagram, so go check that out because it's a recipe for a frappuccino if you blend ice cream and I used the raw, um, I'll show you, the raw um, hazelnut chocolate cookie ice cream. I used this with some coffee and some milk and then topped it with vegan whipped cream and like a drizzle of chocolate sauce. And to make the chocolate sauce, you literally just mix together maple syrup with um, some chocolate spread. And in the free from section in the UK, there's always a vegan chocolate spread. Or if you can't get chocolate spread, then just use cocoa powder and drizzle that on top if you're feeling like a nice fancy drink on a hot day, 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm gonna be making that more often at the weekends or something. It just was so delicious. It was just nice to make and have because as far as I'm aware, places like Starbucks and Costa don't do that kind of thing vegan. And correct me if I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, then I'll have to go give it a taste test and go try it out in a video. But it was really nice to make it at home and not have to go anywhere and just to enjoy. So yeah, I'll, I'll leave a link down below to the post on my Instagram. Good evening, everyone. It is dinner time. I'm starving. I just spent the last hour down a hole on my phone. So my phone is now going in the bin. Banished. Chuck it in the bin. I'm gonna put it in the agar. In the agar, turn the agar on, burn it to shreds. Okay, it'll take 12 to 16 hours to heat up. <laughs> the agar is off. <laughs> he just put it in the Ah, this kitchen is such a mess. Oh. We're making dinner, and for dinner we're doing my sticky tofu, which I need my phone for, ironically. Nope. Sorry. Go back. It's my sticky tofu. I literally do this all the time to do my recipes. I like typing the recipe and then typing my name. What's that, Roxy? She's getting angry because it's so hot in the UK that I'm trying to walk her later, like when it's when the sun is like going down at like eight or nine. And so she doesn't understand it. So she moans at us from like 5 p.m. She's like, why can't I go out? Well, the tarmac's too hot for little puppy paws. We've been dowsing her in the hose all day. Right, so we need a block of tofu. Alex, you wanna get these ingredients? 
Oh, you're feeding the animals. We'll get them in a second. Block of tofu, garlic, ginger, sesame oil, soy sauce, maple syrup, sriracha, corn flour, and oil. Actually, there's loads of ingredients in this that were in my lunch dressing. This is the tofu. Alex just gave it to me. Um, and I'm gonna have it with rice, broccoli, spring onions. Have we got broccoli? Yeah. Yes. And um, we're gonna have some brown rice. Although the thing is, we turned the agar off and because we're renovating our kitchen, we don't have a hob. We've got an induction hob, which you've seen, but we've only got one. So I need to cook the tofu. <laughs> uh, Could you put it in the oven? Yes. The oven is currently on. Also, I'm supposed to marinate this tofu for an hour, which I would definitely recommend, but we don't have that, an hour. You did that ahead of time, right? We don't have an hour. So I'm just gonna cover the tofu in this and hope for the best. It's probably not gonna turn out as good, but it'll do. But yeah, I don't, we're gonna have to make the tofu, no, make the rice, set it aside, then make the tofu. I think maybe I'll put the rice on whilst I'm making the tofu. I'll make the marinade and stuff. That's probably the best way to do it. Our hob is going to be fitted at the end of August when our new worktops are being fitted. We're getting white worktops because these are just so dark. And we're going to get a hob so we actually can use the hob in the, in the summer when the argar's turned off. If you don't know what an argar is, it's just a very old fashioned cooker that stays on all the time and it heats the room and you can cook in the oven and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, we need a, an extra hob when that's off so we can actually cook meals. And I'll leave all the recipes linked down below as usual and let's get cooking. I'm gonna put my rice on, I've just boiled the kettle. I'm gonna do white rice, use brown rice if you want it to be ultra high protein. But Alex, <laughs> Alex is just like avidly against brown rice and like I said, my cooking setup does not allow for me to cook two separate rices like I usually do if I want brown rice. So I'm gonna do a cup of rice. Woo! Oh, actually, wait, I need the sieve. I'm gonna wash this rice first. So my rice is all washed. Pop that in the pan, and I'm gonna teach you a little hack for making rice cook perfectly every time. I have a few different hacks. Um, I shared one in the video ages ago, which realistically doesn't work on an induction hob, and this is an induction hob, it, or it doesn't work on an agar either. So this is kind of like a foolproof one that will work on an induction hob if that's what you have. So one cup of rice, and then two cups of water, so one part rice, two part water. Pour that in, and then bring it to a boil. So the good thing about induction holes is that they heat up straight away. And I'm gonna put a bit of salt in here. Ooh, this is Cornish, Cornish sea salt. Just put a little bit in there. Bring it to a boil with the lid off. Uh, on an induction hob that shouldn't take very long and then as soon as it's brought to a boil turn it down to like one and put the lid on and let it cook for like 10 to 15 minutes and then once all the water is absorbed turn it off but leave it there and let it just steam for a little bit and that should mean that you have perfect rice every time and yeah you don't have to drain it you don't have to rinse it it's not going to be undercooked or overcooked yeah give it a go if you do struggle making rice so i'm gonna make that and then meanwhile I will prepare my tofu marinade. Like I mentioned, I pop the rice onto boil and then I'm turning it right the way down to a really low heat and then popping the lid to allow it to simmer. Next, I'm gonna prepare my tofu and marinade. The marinade is super simple. It's just garlic, ginger, soy sauce, sesame oil, maple syrup, corn flour, and sriracha. Whisk that all together and then coat your tofu and marinate this ideally for at least an hour or overnight. I think I only did mine for 15 minutes though. Here I'm just preparing my broccoli. I'm gonna put it in the oven with some garlic salt, salt and pepper and olive oil and just cook that in the oven while I do my tofu. For the tofu is really simple. You just fry it off, making sure to leave the marinade till the end so that you can add this and it adds that extra stickiness before you serve up. starting to get dark but I've come over to the window so I can show you this masterpiece. So we have our sticky tofu and I've topped it with, are you coming in? Hello. <laughs> and I've topped it with spring onion, this is like red spring onion and some sesame seeds and then we've got some rice and some broccoli which you saw Alex, um, he added some of the coriander stalks in the oven with those and then they were just seasoned with garlic salt, pepper and olive oil and this is going to be delicious. I haven't cooked tofu like this in ages have we? No. 
it looks, looks so like, yummy. If I got this in a restaurant, I'd be pretty chuffed. Yes. I put some black sesame on mine, because I'm fancy. Oh, can I have black sesame? No. Can you get me a fork and then I can try it? No. Should we go sit in the lounge? No. Are you just going to say no to everything? Yes. Right, let's try a little bit of tofu. Look at the gooey stickiness of this. <gasps> Yummy. Oh my goodness, you're going to love this. I don't think we've had this for like years. I'm always so lazy with tofu. I just cook it the same way and I don't bother to put a nice mm. sauce on it. I always just cook it with soy sauce and sriracha and just and garlic and ginger. But I don't, it's, it's the maple syrup and the corn flour that makes it go gooey. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Sometimes I find tofu boring, but if you put a bit of effort in, then it, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Right, are you ready? Do you know what's missing? Avocado. Kimchi? No. Oh. I could kill we've some got, kimchi we've got some on the side. Sushi ginger. It's not the same, hun. Not well, the same. Know, but it's still good. I'm gonna go enjoy this and watch Love Island. <laughs> I'm finishing the day with a high protein vegan magnum. It's got nuts in it. Oh yeah, she does! <laughs> it's the high protein edition. <laughs> it's got nuts in it. It's so hot today. I've got the fan on, watching Love Island, and I remembered that we had these in the freezer, so this is absolutely what I need right now. I'm gonna enjoy this and sign off, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, all the recipes are linked below. And yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see other editions of Why Eat In A Days, like other themed What I Eat In A Days, because I think I enjoy these more because they're less focused on comparison, I don't know. I never want anyone who's watching these videos to compare um, how they're eating to me because everyone's different and I want it to be more about me giving you inspiration to eat vegan food rather than you feeling bad about the way that you eat. Uh, but I think we all know that by now on my channel. I'm going to have this magnum. I'll see you in my next video. Get your head up and they're all cracked. Oh well. <laughs> Bye.